5.15 right now, it's time to connect the dots. When we make the news, it makes sense. A new report from the UN shows we need to stop increasing our greenhouse gases emissions in just the next few years to help stop climate change. But a lot of us probably wonder, what can we do at home to really make a difference? Most Americans say climate change affects their local community. Let's connect the dots. This is Earth Day week, and what started small in the 70s has grown as more Americans see the impending threat to the environment. A recent UN report says we must stop increasing greenhouse gas emissions by 2025, then swiftly cut them 43% by the end of the decade to avoid the worst impacts of climate change, namely extreme weather like more frequent hurricanes and wildfires. Pew Research Center says most Americans also perceive a rise in extreme weather. But what can we do now? Experts say it's things we've heard before. We must switch to a low carbon lifestyle, including a plant-based diet, creating less food waste and choosing renewable energy. The UN report shows wind costs fell 55% in the past decade, solar dropped 85%, and the cost of electric car batteries is down 85% as well. And President Biden's infrastructure law commits $50 billion to fight climate change disasters through clean energy investments. And that is Connecting the Dots.